Last month, we saw Kanye West lose his Forbes billionaire title after he made a number of anti-Semitic comments on social media, which saw Adidas pull out of a partnership with him and saw him temporarily banned from various social media platforms. Well, last week, he was suspended off Twitter yet again and accused of inciting violence over another string of anti-Semitic tweets. And on Thursday, he also did an interview with conspiracy theorist Alex Jones, in which Kanye West praised the Nazi leader Hitler. Well, Kanye West has more followers online than there are Jewish people in the world, and his comments acted as a catalyst for more people spreading hate speech towards Jewish people online and offline. Now, despite the quick action taken on Kanye West by social media platforms, a study by the Center for Countering Digital Hate found through their own research that social media companies are failing to enforce their own community guidelines against anti-Semitic content. In fact, 84% of anti-Semitic content reported through these platforms' own tools were not taken down or acted on. Well, just last week, the government announced a new crackdown on anti-Semitism online. The new legislation, which will be part of the online safety bill, once enforced, will force platforms to remove not only hate speech, but also the more nuanced type of anti-Semitism, such as conspiracy theories, and this time around, if they fail to do so, these tech platforms could face fines of up to 10% of their annual turnover. Well, one group looking to tackle anti-Semitism across the UK are the Community Security Trust. Now, they're a charity that protects British Jews from anti-Semitism and related threats. They have a helpline to report anti-Semitism, whether that be online or offline, and that's recognised by the police and the government. Well, I spoke to them about reports of anti-Semitism on the streets in London and how high-profile names like Kanye can be a catalyst for further hate speech. So around two thirds of the Jewish community in Britain lives in London, uh, and that's where most of the anti-Semitic incidents and hate crime, uh, the reported CST take place. And it's the full range of uh, verbal abuse shouted at Jewish people as they're walking down the street, uh, physical assaults, uh, anti-Jewish graffiti, lots of anti-Jewish uh, harassment and abuse online. So anti-Semitism quite often works through stereotypes and conspiracy theories that claim that Jewish people have some kind of secret power and they use that power to, to do down other people. And so when you have as high profile and popular a celebrity as Yi or Kanye West promoting these kind of stereotypes and conspiracy theories to his followers all over the world, and he has more followers on Twitter than there are Jewish people in the entire world. I think it's very frightening. And a lot of Jewish people in this country and, and all over the world have been really shocked and frightened by the fact that he can spread these ideas. His supporters may well believe them, may agree with them, and it just gives a real boost and energy to anti-Semitism. Well, I also spoke to the founder of the Centre for Countering Digital Hate about anti-Semitism online and the impacts of Kanye West's hate speech towards Jewish people. When people who have been able to build followers of millions of people on social media platforms then spout virulent anti-Semitism, it has a significant impact not just in terms of creating new uh, people who might believe these, these lies and disinformation, but also on the victims, on Jewish people who feel that these spaces are no longer safe for them, that they're not welcome there. And that is a fundamentally regressive thing that actually impedes the civil rights, the, the fundamental right to speech. And why do you think that the social media platforms, they're not taking the right action in your eyes? Look, I think it just comes down to the fact that they've mistaken a lack of legal liability for the content on their platforms for a lack of moral responsibility. Jewish organisations and anti-hate organisations like CCBH have begged platforms for years to take action. We're kind of beyond the point now at which we're going to continue to sort of to, to get down on bended knee and ask uh, social media platforms to do something. It's time for them to either put up or for the government to step in and say, you know what, actually, if you create harm, if you impede other people's civil rights in terms of discrimination or reducing their ability to feel that they can speak freely, you will be liable for that. 
Well, five years after it was proposed, the online safety bill is set to be enforced soon. We don't know when, however, and if all goes to plan, it will have a huge impact on the amount of hate speech we see online.